What's up, everybody? I'm Big Mike. And I'm Brando. And I'm Clinton. And this is Brewheads. You're damn right. All right, so today in our label shopper extravaganza episode ish stuff, yeah. we are label shopping. So uh, Mike brought this one. Yep. And this one is from McKellar Brewing. San Diego. All right. We have Windy Hill. Yeah. Kind of a... Yeah, it's a... So, Clint, if you were looking at this can, because green means hoppy to you mentally, what would this depict to you? Blueberries? Safe? I only associate the color green with hops. Everything else is just kind of whatever. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. So we're gonna try like, this one. So judging by this, I would say there it's not a hot punch. Oh. Craig, we'll see if this can knowledge <laughs> translates into what we get. It's just how I feel. I know it's not always accurate. I feel like it's more accurate than it's not. All right, Ugh. hold her up. Look that up her skirt. Is dirty. What do we got? That's dirty. That's real dirty. I feel like we besides the stout today, which obviously is dirty. The darkness. We're, we're yeah, we've full been dirt. dirt. Yeah, full no, on dirt. Been, actually, the past past two weeks. Right? Yeah, mm -hmm. full on haze. Yeah. All right. Give me a sniff. What do you get? Mm, that's citrusy. Very citrusy. Yeah, that hits like with that color. I mean, yeah. do you expect anything else? Yeah, that hits all the citrus notes. Yeah. I don't. You get hop at all? No, I don't get any hop smell. I smell juice bomb. Yeah, it smells like it's juicy. All right, let's give it a shot. Let's go. Ooh, wow. That's, uh... There's some hop there. It's, but it's really mellow. Yeah. This is, like, real easy going. So one of those like, slide beers? Yeah, yeah just it's, kinda... it's not too juicy, it's not too hoppy, it's perfectly balanced like all things should be. Yeah, there's nothing that's like extra <laughs> about it, you know what I mean? Like it's, mm -hmm. it tastes like so many other like just regular like New England style IPAs. Um, yeah. I do feel like there's enough hop in there. I do see where you were saying the guy said like West Coast. Mm -hmm. I yeah. can I can see that. I it's not as But it's not I I would think the beer we had before previously. Right. Is way more hoppier and yeah, way absolutely. more West Coast feeling than this yeah. one is. This is this is has a really good balance of just enough juice, just enough hop. You yeah. taste both. You know, and one isn't overpowering the other. How many of these do you think you could just have in a row? Is this a one and done? Is this a beware four pack? I, I, uh, depending on the horsepower, I would say this is like a either a two, you know, but maybe two. One with dinner, one after dinner, done. Huh. But I go to sleep early. <laughs> if there was an Olympic sport for everyday activities what could you see yourself doing with this beer I want to get deep on you right now long uh, jump long jump, long huh? jump. uh I'll, let's see let me see what comes to me I'll go with a long jump rowing 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 is rowing an olympic sport yeah it is yeah I'm pretty sure summer olympics man yeah rowing is a Really? Yeah. That shows you how much I watch sports <laughs> <laughs> at all. Either rowing or the rings. The rings? All yeah, right. The two rings that hang down. Yeah. Yeah. See, I'm too fat for rings. But... <laughs> oh, oh, that's we have to be able to do it. <laughs> oh, that, um... I'm going. I'm going more for attempt. Attempt. <laughs> um, between my fatness and my tinnitus, yeah, that shit ain't happening. <laughs> what sport did you compare it to? Rings. No, oh, you... oh, um, I said uh, long jump. 
Yeah, because your fat ass ain't young. <laughs> I, hey, hey, so you're I, saying you could jump hey, longer I than can, you can hold? Yeah, I can jump way longer than I can right. hold on. Still only one out of the two requirements for basketball. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you would never be able to hold on to that rim. No. Yeah. You guys think you made any wrong assumptions about this beer when you were uh, checking it out prior to drinking? Yeah, I thought it was going to be real hoppy. Did you? I mean, it's from San Diego, so... All right. I was expecting way more hops, but this is, like I said, perfectly balanced. Glad you said San Diego, because I was actually going to ask, do you think this beer's from right around here? <laughs> you already said I that. already read the damn can, yeah. man. I, um, I, I didn't really make too many assumptions about it. Uh, I didn't even... Actually, I still don't even know what the front of the can looks like. Um... So I didn't really put much thought into what I was expecting. I did hear you mention West Coast style, and then mm -hmm. that automatically, you know, threw me off a little bit because again, I'm not a huge yeah, West Coast no, style kind yeah. of guy. Um, but I wouldn't compare it to be a West Coast. I like I said, I think the other one we had before was yeah, no. Close I mean, to this is it, this is supposed to be, I guess, a New England style beer. But all right, so. Either one of you, do you feel this is more of a morning time beer or a nighttime beer? And what food could you pair with this? I think flavor wise, this is mild so, enough. You can pretty much have this with anything. Okay. I don't think there's any specific food you would have to have with this beer. You know, like some beers, like you have, to, you know, it would taste better with something that's like meaty or something that's spicy. Yeah. This, I think, is like. Balance. They can go with anything. Yeah, you, can, you want some pizza? Crack one of these. You know, you want some flaming, uh, flamingo? Flamingo? <laughs> flamingo? Yeah, who doesn't like a nice fucking flamingo? Crack one of these. You want some. I like my you know, meat a little pink. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, Me you too. Want, you want some sauteed salmon? Yeah. Go for it, man. This goes with everything. Yeah, there's really no flavor profile in this that really mm. like sets it aside from something else. The flavor isn't. Am, am like, I wrong? In, all right, let me let me. Am I wrong in the sense of I want to say basic? There's nothing. There's no wow factor I, to this. I I understand what you. It's not offensive to say it's basic, but it is like. There's no, there's nothing popping. Yeah, there's no nothing, one thing that pops. Th this, this beer will fade into the background of every other New England style yeah. IPA. Okay. Um, there's, it, it's not a bad beer by me saying that. Um, it, it's actually oh, pretty me. damn good. It's good, but there's no, there's nothing. There's no wow factor. Yeah, there's nothing okay. in it to set itself aside from everyone aside else. From it like, was one of those like, hey, you guys got some New England IPAs. Like here's like, ours. After today, I, I probably never. Even think of this beer again. Like, there's no, and it's, I don't mean that disrespectful. I'm just saying, like, what am I trying to say? It falls into the category there, yeah, of a typical New yeah, England style yeah, IPA. Yeah, it has its new, typical New England IPA flavors. All right, so let me tell you a little bit about this beer. Oh, we didn't give our rating. Give our rating. Yeah, give me your rating, Mike. Give our rating. Hold on. Um, I'm going to go 425. I really dig this. Um, I would definitely look to see if they had any more stuff from them just to try them out. Uh, but yeah, I really do like this. It's it's a balanced New England IPA. It really is. You got some juice, got some hop. You can go with anything. It's not it's not going to detract from anything if you want to eat this with something. You know, I mean, drink this with something. Wow. It's not gonna it's not gonna yeah. take away. It's not gonna take away from the flavor of anything else. Okay. Uh, it's. It, it is basic, but not in a bad way. It's basic in a good way. You know? I mean, as far as craft beer goes, I'd feel comfortable offering this to anybody. Like, if yeah. I had this in my fridge, like, I'd feel confident handing it to Mike, Brando, anybody that, you know, enjoys craft beer, knowing that it, it, it's a great beer. Like, mm -hmm. and I cannot, I feel like I'm being an asshole about it, but I, I'm not. I'm just, you know, you have your other, you know, beers that just really stand out to you. Not. Nah. Nah, I'm just saying. Like, I just uh, like the fact that he actually included me in giving me one of these beers. <laughs> I'd give it to Brando. Brando would have to give it to Mike. <laughs> well, you know what I'm trying to say. Like, no, I would give it to anybody. I would offer this yeah. up as not like. You you could safely offer this up regardless yeah. of someone. No one's actually going to enjoy it. Yeah, yeah. If, if they're into craft beer or they're not, 
they would be able to drink this beer and actually enjoy I'm, it. I'm picturing yeah. this. Someone comes into Clinton's house and they say, and he said, what kind of style do you like? You like New England style IPAs? They said yes. He could give them one of those. Yeah, I'd feel 100% confident that they're yep. going to enjoy it. Um, but, I mean, other than that, you know. Did you give me a rating? I'll give 375. Okay. 375. I feel like that's a pretty solid number. I do like the smell of that. I kind of want to have you guys guess what hops are in this. But it's not in the can yet. So, uh, like we said, this is Windy Hill. McKellar Brewing, San Diego, New England style IPA. This bad boy rings in at 7%. I wouldn't even have guessed that either. Nope. No, I would have Most of them today I would have yeah, thought. I would have thought six. So we are being uh, pleasantly surprised by the alcohol content of, of today's uh, yeah. beers. Kind of curious. Uh, let's see if it tells me what kind of hops. How much info? Not a thing. No. Wow. It's a hazy IPA. <laughs> Thank you, Untapped, for your uh, incredible, in the uh, average ratings, everyone. 30, 37,000 people have rated this, and there's not a damn thing about the beer. Uh, <laughs> but, you know, but four. you know, you know, look at the what the average rating yeah, is. Four. Though. Like, yeah. that's, yeah. it's what I'm saying is, like, there's not, that's actually, what you just said is pretty much exactly what I was yeah. trying to say is, like, the beer's good, but not much to say. That's our thoughts yeah, on the Keller thoughts. Brewing's I mean, it's Windy not, Hill. It's not bad. No, not at all. You run across it, pick it up, tell us if you think that this... It's not life-changing. No. No. But does it fall into but, the uh, category of doing a style IPA? But it is perfectly balanced. I'm yeah. Sure. It is. It really is. I mean, with the exception of that. I mean, that's really... A, that is, like, the biggest thing you can say about it. So, if you've had it, let us know in the comments. If you've had anything else from them... Uh, let us know, because I mean they're all the way in San Diego, so I'm sure they got some, a lot of stuff out there. Probably not going to get out there to review much of their stuff. No, that's a that's a long flight. Yeah. And uh, but hey, sure. if you guys see this and you want to send us some other stuff that, you know, you might think that might be a little more eye opening to us, yeah. a little more life changing. Just, uh, hit, hit us, us up. up in the comments. Yeah. Or throw us some high horsepower beers, man. Or you could uh, slide our DMs if you want to. Mm-hmm. Slide right in them DMs. And uh, as always, drink responsibly. Stay wobbly. Deuces. <laughs>